Hello YouTube! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Happy Kwanzaa! Happy Festivus! Happy Winter Solstice! And happy whatever other holidays are celebrated during this time. I am Hybel Man, and I'm coming at you with my holiday haul. And let's not waste any time. First of all, um, my parents got me a very nice varsity jacket. I'm on my school's fencing team. And that's coming, but I don't have it, so I can't show it off. But it will be nice when it gets here. Uh, let's see. Moving on. I am Bucky Ballin. I got these neat little Bucky Balls. Um, I haven't seen any advertisement for them other than on YouTube where they have their own channel. And it's somebody basically doing this. They have them and they you know, do all sorts of stuff while music plays. And They came in a cube, which I messed up, as you can see. Not not this cube, they actually came like in a cube shape. And you can make chains and things out of them and whatnot. They show all sorts of designs on the instructions, which I will never be able to do. There's the cube. Um, it, it's a neat little thing. Everybody likes magnets, right? Um, that actually does it for non-transformers. Start off with the literature here. We have... Transformers, The Veiled Threat, the official prequel to the upcoming blockbuster film. And we have The Fallen's face on here, so this is the preview to Revenge of the Fallen, or the prequel, I mean, to the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I've seen the Revenge of the Fallen movie, so it's interesting, or it's going to be interesting to see what they do as the prequel. And then, to bookend the movie... On the other side, we have the official Revenge of the Fallen sequel, Transformers Nefarious, which is a very big, very pretty graphic novel. I've gotten a little bit into this one, not really sure what's going on, but it looks awesome. Beast Box. Very cool. Um, moving on. My parents also, they printed me out this neat little card. They renewed my... Transformers Collectors Club membership for another year. So thank you, Mom and Dad. That's very cool. Um, also, I, I have a gift certificate. Good for any Internet Transformers purchase, including eBay. And that does it for non-robot things. And now I'm just going to go in the order that I open things up Christmas morning. To start off, I have Revenge of the Fallen Voyager... Oh, God. Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Starscream. So a little bit unstable here. There we go. He's got tiny little feet, but he's awesome. Um, lots of people don't seem to like the Cybertronian tattoos or whatever it is that he has, but I think they're kind of cool. And he has I what I believe is my favorite Mecha Live so far. I'm trying to get it in a good light here. Let me adjust my lamp. And there we go. If you see all these little yellow translucent pieces in his chest which match the cockpit, those all move when you turn his head. You can see them moving a little bit. I'm trying not to create a shadow. And what's really neat about that is during his transformation, those are actually wing flaps, these black pieces in here, and then they fold in and attach, and they still move like Mech Alive, which is awesome because some of the Mech Alive stuff has been really cool, but it's also just not a static piece. You don't have to have this whole big diamond shape. It actually merges during the transformation, so that's that's awesome. And I also have the um, Japanese Takara version, the Autobot Alliance version of Insecticon. Still comes in the same yellow box. Um, it's actually the same box pictures with the American version, the blue wings and the lighter plastic. But it doesn't say Hunt for the Decepticons anywhere on here. And then it has these little Japanese warning labels at the bottom, so don't don't choke. Then, um, what else was in here? There's this little card. It's all in Japanese. Not really sure what it's about, but there's, there's presents on there, so that's nice. And here are the instructions, and I want to point them out because... Well, there's two reasons I want to. First of all, if you look on these steps here, where they are swiveling his arms around, you see they, these tell you to swivel them forward, and then the next step tells you to swivel them backwards. Now, for a lot of people, um, distinguishing between the fact that his shoulder joints, or his the ball joints on the individual arms that are the shoulders, 
are included in this first step, but they're not included in this second step, so it's everything after the elbow, not including the shoulder. That's not always quite apparent, especially since they're just shading it. So what they do for you, which is very nice, they have these little bubbles where they actually zoom in and show you where on the arm to turn it and what they're talking about. And I'm assuming these are captions with text directions, but obviously I cannot translate them. But that's very nice. You can see there's a little 180 degrees, so yeah, they're, they're actually telling you how to do it, so bravo to Kara. Um, and then the actual toy itself, Insecticon. He is here, he's the darker plastic version, because he's the Takara version, and I really do like the dark plastic. I know a lot of people don't like the translucent, or the clear transparent wings versus the blue ones, but I really like this dark plastic a lot more than the, the lighter, sort of beigey one that the American version is in. And if you get this with the right amount of shading, you can actually see that this isn't perfectly clear. It's more of a a brown, I don't know if it's showing up here, but it's not 100% clear, so I don't know if brown makes it any better, but for those of you who don't just like clear, it's not perfectly clear. And he's he's awesome, he has the, the four little arms, you can do all sorts of neat configurations, and I'm really enjoying him. Then.